to another session of the Product Management View webinar series. We've got a great session in store today where our speaker, Roger Coven, will be speaking about understanding requirements concepts. According to Roger, we are in the midst of a requirements crisis. Some companies are producing multiple requirements documents but still neglecting key non-functional requirements. The line between requirements and design remains elusive to many product managers, inhibiting innovation. Developers code to specs, but lose sight of the problems that customers want solved. Part of this crisis stems from confusion over requirements terminology and concepts. Today, Roger will address this issue in depth with the help of a conceptual model of requirements terminology. Roger Coven is the principal product management consultant at Coven Inc. His clients have ranged from software development companies to real estate developers. In addition to determining the positioning and messaging for products, one of Roger's primary duties is to understand and document requirements in terms of the problems a product should solve. He writes his thoughts on product management in his blog, and he is the author of two popular articles that appeared in marketingprofs.com. And he's very eager to share his expertise on understanding requirements concepts with you today. Take it away, Roger. All right. Thank you, Susanna. Hi, everybody. Again, I'm Roger Coven with Coven Inc. It's a product management and market research firm in Austin, Texas. Today, as Susanna mentioned, we're talking about requirements concepts. The purpose of the uh, the purpose of the presentation is going to be to clarify the concepts and terminology related to requirements. And I'm going to do three things. First. I'm going to show how existing requirements terminology is actually contradictory. Second, I'm going to show how confusion leads to product development failures. And three, I'm going to show, I'm going to clarify the concepts to remove the contradictions. I recently participated in a debate, an online debate, about requirements terminology, and in that debate, one of the other participants drew a distinction between external and internal aspects of products. The idea is that the line between requirements and design can be drawn in the same way as between external and internal aspects of the product. So a requirement would be, would specify the external behavior of, a, of the product and the design specifies the internal details. Now that sounds like a great distinction and a great way of drawing that line between requirements and design. Unfortunately, it leads to contradictions. Let's see what, a, what, what does a UI designer do. A UI designer specifies only the external aspects of the product when that UI designer produces a user interface spec. Well, if it's only the external aspects of the product, then you would think it would be requirements. But then we're led to the conclusion that UI designers do not design user interfaces, which is a contradiction in terms. Another example is FRSs, which are called functional requirement specifications. Now, we'll talk a little bit later about what functional requirements are versus non-functional requirements. But for now, you would think that a functional requirement specification would contain functional requirements and not contain non-functional requirements. But when I talk to colleagues who actually produce these documents, they insist that their functional requirement specifications include non-functional requirements. And so we're led to the conclusion, the contradictory conclusion again, that functional requirements specifications contain non-functional requirements. Now you may be asking, well, this is all semantics. Why does this matter? Why does this have, does this have any impact on how we do our requirements and whether it impacts our product development processes and whether we have successful products. And I argue that it does. Just about any 